Why did we choose a schoolie over an RV? Because she wanted to make it the way she wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> Sums it up. Yeah, it does. If you're like us, you're looking into whether a schoolie or a motorhome is right for you. And when we started looking into which one was right for us, we found that the cost of entry to a motorhome was a lot more money than the cost of entry to a schoolie. So the motorhomes were already pretty expensive and our bus was only $1,800. So we could easily buy that, wait till we have money to begin to fix it and make it a schoolie, convert it. Um, rather than buying a motorhome, the entry was high to get in. In addition to that, the motorhomes that I was finding, um, I would want to gut and renovate anyway. I just don't like that drabby feel, um, that kind of brown feel, uh, tans and such of a motorhome. I just don't, it doesn't make me feel good inside. So I would want to renovate it anyway. So George said, well, if we're going to renovate something, let's have our entry point be lower. And the class A RVs, tend to not be as sturdy um, as a school bus. School buses were meant to transport children. Um, they're very sturdy. And my husband was a school bus mechanic for about six, seven years. So he has a clue about school buses. He doesn't, he didn't know anything about converting them into living spaces, but he knew the mechanics of them. So we felt really comfortable with that aspect. And uh, it was just, it seemed like the right choice for us to build it exactly how we wanted it. And we were able to, to buy this for $1,800 down the road from us. And then as soon as we sold our house and got up enough money, we just, we went for it. We're going to, we're going for it right now. We're in the middle of it. So we are under a seven week, uh, conversion that we have to do, but it did sit in our yard for a year and a half. We did not have the funds nor, um, the capacity to be able to do the conversion until right now. So we were able to gain the bus. We have it when we're ready. We didn't want it to sit too long. <laughs> a year and a half was long enough. Um, so I accumulated a little bit more rust on the wheel wells, but we just cut it out and, and put new metal in and made it good again. But uh, for us, you know, we wanted something that was bright and light and airy, and we wanted to fully customize it. And we felt like we would get that in a schoolie more than we would an RV. And that's, that's what we chose. So far, we're super happy with our choice, although it's been overwhelming and such a learning curve. I think that for us, the bus was the way to go.